can you prove to me that you got to lean on your car or not? Now, I know you've been told you got to lean on your car, but could you prove to me that you got to lean on your car? Now, I just want to say this is just for educational purposes, okay? This is not legal advice. Information that I'm bringing to you, okay? and it's up to you to do your due diligence to see what the law says for you. I don't need y'all in my comments, okay? Because y'all be going crazy on TikTok. Y'all got to remember, a lot of these people are on here to deceive you. So this is just for educational purposes. And A, study for yourself. Now, if there's a lien on any property, it should be listed in the UCC. This is what the law said. The UCC is Uniform Commercial Code concerning commercial transactions. It can be transactions you have with the dealership or even transactions you have with a mortgage. And it talks about how a lender has the right to foreclose on a property if us, the consumers, you know, default on a loan. Now, this goes for any property that got a lien on it. But today we're going to focus on your car contract with that dealership. Now, according to the UCC, if there's a lien on any property, it must be listed in a UCC system. So there's a way you can search to see if your car is listed in a UCC system. So whatever state you got your vehicle from is the state you want to do your search to see if your vehicle is listed as a lien. So what you're going to do is Google the secretary of state of where you got your vehicle from. OK, so you want to Google and do a search of your name. Now, once you do that search, it's going to say no results found no results found you're not gonna see a lien on your car or on your name okay so let me let you guys in on a little something when you went to that dealership and you purchased that car they put a lien on your car for 21 days only 21 days okay and we've been under the impression that our car got a lien on it until it's paid off until the debt is paid off but not so it's telling you that they don't have lawful security interests against you we are under the UCC laws so if it's not listed as it said it should be then how could they hold you liable for something? How? A well, lien on any property is only for 21 days. So what they do is they put a lien long enough in the system, just long enough for the DMV to put a lien on your title. So what they're pretty much doing is committing fraud in 21 days. They gave themselves 21 days to commit fraud. We at the dealership signing documents. We don't know what we signing. We pretty much just signing our life away, giving them permission to just do whatever it is that they want to do. Now you just learned that your car ain't got no lien on it. Now, what's the next step? Let me tell you what the next step is. So you want to go to the Secretary of State, y'all. You're going to go to the Secretary of State and you want to do a UCC 11 search. You want to tell them that you want a UCC 11 search. You're going to give them your name and you're going to tell them, I want a certified copy of that search that they put when they put it in the system. They're going to do the UCC 11 search. They're going to put your name in there and what's going to pop up. Nothing found, no lien. You want to tell them that you want a certified copy of that, okay? It's called a UCC 11 search. Now, when they give you your certified copy showing that you ain't got no lien, the law said you got the right. You got the right to write them under oath with an affidavit stating facts saying that the debt has been paid in full and a DMV will release your lien. Don't wait to be great.